guys, welcome to Mountaintop Outdoors. So tonight we're gonna to be working in the garage, but I figured I'd show you my Christmas light. So I got the tree done, our fence line, going all the way out another tree. And then there's another fence line out by the property. And the wood yard is over there. And then we got this all lit up. what we're doing we're doing uh kindle wood tonight so i'll show you explain to you what we're doing so here's the garage it's all beautiful and lit up looks beautiful christmas is coming i hope everybody's getting ready and um show you the hook the light just came on so we'll come in here to let's see what patty's doing so there's the boss we got nice and warm here in the garage so I'll kind of show you guys what we're doing. So our kindling wood is all this square stock. We got the, the stuff for free and I'll show you um, over here. Got my little cutter there. So we get this slab wood right here that you see for free from the local uh, sawmill. And they don't want it, they normally chip it up. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty thick and pretty wide and what I do um, I come over here to the table saw I rip it down and I normally make it one inch by three quarters inch sometimes it's three quarter by three quarter but it's pretty dry stuff and uh, this is all what we cut up so far so we've done it before and we made uh, 50 bundles kindling bundles and uh, it, they sold with like a week and a half. So um, Patty is running the battery operated DeWalt chop saw. I found a new toy. Yeah. So um, I'll show you uh, what we do. So here, um, I'm gonna get something stuck here. That's my uh, measurement. Cool. So I measured out 16 inches. And then what I do is she cuts it. And then all this in a wheelbarrow is all of our kindling, our kindling wood. And we don't do a 0.75. I actually do a little smaller than that. Because, again, these are 16, and you don't need a whole heck of a lot to get started. So um, so that's what we're up to. So uh, we had another order in for another 50. So I figured uh, we ate dinner and just got done. So I come back here in the garage, put the heat on, and... Um, get it all done so patty likes running the chop saw you never know what i'm up to that's right so it's nice because it's it's cold outside there's stuff we're in here we put a little music on put the furnace on as you can see the furnace is in the back there and um we're gonna actually spray foam this next year uh, we had a little condensation problem which most of you guys know uh, with the metal so if uh, we spray foam it, A, it's going to keep it warmer in here and it'll eliminate the condensation. So um, that's next year's project. But um, So we're going to put you on the tripod here. Patty's going to continue to cut. And then I'm going to sit there and make up the bundle. And I'll kind of show you what I did here real quick. Make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah. So here I put these two by four blocks in. Because what happens is when we were putting the wood, the kindling wood in there, it keep falling back, and you were it was getting like oblong uh, bundles. So what I did is I put the two two by fours in. Um, therefore, it gave me my perfect spot, and I fill that cavity up, and it comes a nice, good, perfectly square, which I'll show you guys after I make one up what it looks like. So um, for free material, it's a little bit labor labor involved, um, but I, I, I measured it out. And it's normally, we, we could do about 25 bundles um, start to finish. That's, that's, taking the, uh, that's taking the slab wood, ripping it down, taking it, doing it on the chop saw, putting it in the wheelbarrow, and then putting it in the, um, the bundler there. So, and normally we do like 25 bundles and we sell them wholesale um, for... Uh, Five, I think it's like five, a little over five bucks. 
Yeah, so it's not, you're not getting rich, but it's, um, you know, it's definitely something, it helps fill the voids. So, uh, all right, guys, we'll put you on the tripod and we'll get some of these made up. And um, again, it's nice to be in a nice warm garage. So, uh, she got outdoor with the Morgan shirt on. Hold on, because they got to see my back. Yeah. I had to zoom in. Oh, well, unzoom it. Outdoors. Outdoor with the Morgans. You got to believe in yourself. That's right. Outdoor with the Morgans. Believe in yourself. That's right. All right, guys, we'll put you on. Oh, what is that up there? Eastern made oh. fuel can. As you see, everything in the shop is orange and blue. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys can hear that okay because the furnace is running. It shouldn't be too loud for you. Um, we'll just have to talk loud. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear it. It's cold, and he's in shorts and a t shirt. I ain't got my Crocs on. He's crazy. Probably with no socks either. Who knows? All I do is I just take a handful like this. And I just come over to the bundler. Kind of jiggle them up a little bit. And they kind of like fill them in. Same thing. You want this thin one too? As you can hear, it's pretty dry. It's because it's slow. So, uh, pretty dry, and again, it sells pretty good, so we're happy. So I'm going to show you guys here real quick what it looks like. Just tighten this up a little bit. Make sure it's tight, not loose. So now, as you guys can see, we got a nice good little square bundle. As you can see, nice good square stock. People love it. That's something new that we're trying. Um, like I said, you don't get rich off of it, but what do, you, what do you do on a night? You're sitting in the house in the winter doing nothing. You can at least come out here and make some bundles if you're bored. And we don't really watch a lot of TV. So. Like I said, it's really easy just to and it doesn't take much. Goes, goes fairly quick. Like I said, all I do is I run them on the chop saw, or the, I run them on the table saw, so it looks round, you know, as it um, comes off, and then all I do is just square off the edges, and it becomes nice little square stock, and this is probably like three quarter by three quarter, by 16, so it works out pretty good. Pretty soon I get to run the chainsaw. Yeah, and this goes, this is gonna go to a hardware store, a local hardware store in town. Um, they ordered uh, 50, and we went ahead and uh, did them, and like I said, it went like in a week and a half. Everybody seemed to like it, you know. So again, this is, it doesn't take long to make them, so. And I, sh I get normally about 18 to 20 out of a wheelbarrow load, so. And it's pretty, pretty dry stuff. Um, it all is pine, so it makes a really good fire starter, and it's dry. And like I said, they give it away to us, um, because other than that, they run it through the chipper. So I'm like, can I take a bundle and try it out? And they're like, yeah. So I, I, I put it on the, uh, one of my flatbed trailers, and we, uh, go get 
get it. And then, um, so far I'm still working off the first one that uh, he get, we got. And I'm hoping that we can get something like, I'm hoping that we could do probably maybe like a hundred, a hundred some bundles out of that big bundle that they give us. There is some stuff, which I, I'll take a video tomorrow before I, before I post this too of what the pile looks like. And then, uh, Therefore, you guys can see. So some of the stuff I have is bigger, and some of the stuff is uh, not no good to me. So what I do is I, I sort that out, and then I just cut it to size. I bring the uh, kindling stuff in here in the, in the garage, put it on saw horses, and then I work on it when I can. So a rainy day, a cold day, or whatever, we just come here in the garage and do it. Um, but most of it is pretty usable. Um, the bigger stuff, again, I have a guy that has an outdoor boiler. So he said, just leave it there and he'll come pick it up and take it away from free. So you can't beat that. And my little end pieces goes in our firewood storage. Yeah. Because we don't have that. We use that for our kindling for ourselves in the morning. Just grab a handful and then uh, We're good to go. put it on your fire. But it doesn't take long to, to make it. Like I said, it's the product is free, a little bit labor intensive. It's just really not labor intensive, but we'll you gotta to put a little a labor to it. But you'll do a video on that, how that Yeah, we could do a video one day on it and uh, kind of show you how how we do it. Is that the one? Yeah, that one's free. You probably hear, hear it when I do the Done four just in that little bit of time. stuff you know but well, works good for a fire starter they always told me to go with the square piece I literally have to flop it around yeah there's some that's squared and some that's not so um, she starts off with square edge and then therefore you don't have to uh, try to square it up and then add another cut to it you know Safety comes first. Yeah. And all I do sometimes, just to kind of set the bundle, do that, do that, and yeah, she hardens, hardens. Her. But don't don't take much. I think we done what twenty five the other day and how many minutes? It wasn't. Yeah, one day and a half hour. And we had uh, twenty five done just just like that. And if Dad was here, he would literally be counting them for us. These are good. Keepers. These are a math magician. Yep. We'll be back tomorrow morning. He didn't want to stay with us tonight. You guys can probably hear that already. Pretty, uh, pretty dry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably deliver this tomorrow. I've got another 
one delivery going out tomorrow, another one out Sunday, one going out Thursday, and one next Saturday. So far, it will probably change before the holidays. Christmas Eve is next Sunday. Yeah, Christmas. And you got Christmas Monday. Just an old trailer for me that I uh, I picked up, and it, like I said, it works pretty good. Hot air, shore uh, beats, sitting out in the cold. I, mean, I think we have next week, according to my maybe my calculations, one of the hardware stores should be calling either before before Christmas or. And then um, we got to probably do another 50, I would say, bundles for them. That'll be, that'll be regular uh, bundle wood, though. That'll be just regular, which we'll probably put everything back here in the garage again. And then Patty and I will work off the two bundlers. So then two by fours that I put in, I just take them out with a couple screws. There is no problem. He'll bring it in the garage. You betcha. So we'll be doing it in here. It's too cold outside. Yep. It works out good. Sometimes I add too much. Oh. Yep. Where has the winter gone? You know, I'm glad it's going by fast, but man, we're knocking on January already. And then, uh, gonna see if we can try to take a mini vacation in November. November? Or, uh, sorry, February. Probably go down to our friend's house down in Texas. 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 That one that fell out. Nice and tight. Well, you just hit that. And he kind of readjusts it and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Eight. 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 Eight bundles up so far. So. Video? Yeah, Patty had to work. Work? Yeah. We did a, uh, I did a, uh, another load tonight. I got all of it buffed up. And then when she got off of work, she kind of helped me with the last tail end of it. At least I had 10 minutes in the wood yard, so I wouldn't complain. Yeah. I was going to do that. That load goes out tomorrow. About 11 o'clock, I gotta deliver that to a customer. And then, uh, I'm gonna get to
But what did you guys think of that, that video I did with by myself with the 37D? He did awesome. In 38 minutes. He's a beast. And that's without the box wedge. A lot of them bigger pieces. I probably could have done it with the box wedge. It probably would have been a little quicker, to be honest. One day. The other day, not the other day, last night I was cooking steak out on the grill and I said, man, that sounds like the furnace is kicking on. I went out, I forgot to shut the thermostat down. So about 50 degrees, it was kicking back on. So um, we're not in here. I don't really like to uh, leave it on. There's no sense. If I know that we're... If I know that we're coming out here, like when we eat dinner, I'll turn on the heat. It's not very big. This is only a 20, I think 26 by 24 uh, Versa, Versa 2 boil garage. It fit my car in here if I moved a couple of things, but Dad's like, no cars are allowed in here. All right, yeah, fit a car in here if you wanted to right now. Well, not right now, but if I move a couple of things, the car can come in here or the pickup truck. The baby girl. I'm sure I can fit your big truck. Just can't tell that. I could squeeze that in there. That's just scary because that just shows you how fast that um, yeah that summer's gonna go. And today is uh, Friday, so we're doing this before the live stream. Oh, the will see this Sunday, but today is yeah, today. Andrew's. Stepmom's birthday, Cindy. Happy birthday. Yep. So, put it on Facebook. Just make sure y'all wish her a happy birthday. I think I texted her like 6 o'clock this morning. She's an early birthday. Yeah. She's an early riser. So is Pops. So am I. When he wakes up one o'clock in the morning, wakes me up and goes, babe, look what I found on Marketplace. Yeah, if I get like two, three hours of good sleep, if I wake up or something wakes me up, forget it. And then he wakes me up, and then when I go back to sleep, and before I get ready to leave, he's like, go night, night. He doesn't like getting up early. Yeah, see, they come up pretty pretty good we do have tags um i didn't do 
I, they're on order. So we should be getting them and probably after the meeting there for the kindling wood because we only got tags for our bundle wood and nothing for the oh, kindling wood. Nothing for the kindling wood yet. I just didn't know if we were going to continue doing it. That's why I didn't make anything up yet. Um, because I didn't know if it was going to be something that we were going to stick with doing or not doing. But so far, it's, of course, the more you do it, the faster you're going to get. You know, just like with anything else. So it's just a learning curve. Something new that we wanted to try. I'm allowed to do three pieces at once. As long as I'm careful. Suit. You guys will have to keep an watch out on the videos. Because that will be a YouTube video for sure. If it's not a whole video, it's going to be a short. But his sister Melissa came up, saw something, tagged us in it, goes, you have to do this in the wood yard. And guess what? Amazon didn't turn her down because she put the order in and it will be here on the 21st. Great. You can only imagine. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you go to the bathroom before you watch that video. change stuff and get it all in and 834 we'll do yeah. a couple more Brianna answers me back yeah we'll do a couple more and then we'll head in because I want to take a shower yet and then therefore we got live stream and I can finish this up tomorrow oh well, we got a 20 minutes yeah it's nine o'clock for us eight o'clock for for Dan so Oh, well, you we can sign on in the Yep. The windows are off. We left the Christmas lights on the other day, and our cloud guy comes through. He goes, I can see. It was so bright outside. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But the problem you got is you got to know like, oh yeah, I'm definitely coming out here today or not. Most of the time ours is spare the moment because we either have company come on over. But or... if dad's here, he would have took care of the wood stove with no problem. It's 100 degrees in here. Yeah. And it's like, we do burn wood and we do have the chunks. So it would be cost, but most of the time our plans change pretty fast. Only because you don't know who's coming over or my sister. Like my sister called actually when this morning when I know if we go finish up our Christmas shopping up in Lake George. But I couldn't because I have a couple of, a couple of wood orders we gotta bring uh, I gotta bring out um or do this this weekend. But I just think things so much. So that's why it's just easier to have the furnace. And I only burnt, I don't know, maybe six, seven gallons of fuel because I set it up with a, uh, with a small tank here. And then I do uh, fill it up like 10 gallons, 15 gallons at a time. I just bring the, the fuel cans and go to the flow. And Again, it's just something if I need it real quick, coming in here. And then, if I had room, I'd love to put a, a wood stove, like an alternative of that hot air, but. Well, you'd get no work done if you did that. Well, you would, but you wouldn't. Dad is in here with 100 degrees. So he loves the heat. As most of you guys know, they have wood stove. There's nothing like wood, wood stove heat. It's very, you can have 70 degrees in your house, but if you have 70 degrees wood stove heat, you feel, you feel the, the difference for sure. Come on. Almost time to go in and clean up. Watch. Watch the live stream. And then answer Brianna back. Yep. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we done seventeen just as a matter of talking to you guys. And I'll kind of show you that. And then there that dad cigarette can. Yeah, so here it is guys. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and plus eight right here stacked up. As you can see, they're nice, nice looking bundles. So, and Patty has a little bit more to go. We probably have another like eight. I don't know. We'll probably do. Well, that's eighteen, right? That's what I say. Seventeen, eighteen. I love this thing. Seventeen, seventeen bundles. So yeah, we should make twenty-five with no problem. And I could try to finish it up in the morning. Then I just got to pick up my sawdust and whatnot. Uh, so, all right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys on the live stream. Again, this is Friday the 15th, I think. 15th. So, if Patty wants to do a closeout. Well, guys, as you see, I'm running this toy, which <laughs> I absolutely love. Um... Leave us some comments down below what you think about this tonight. Yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. If you already haven't subscribed, and we we uh, thank all the new subscribers. We welcome back all the the uh, original subscribers. All our friends. Yep, and other than that, we'll see you guys on the I next one. one.